two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We are having our morning coffee. The sun is just up. New York is over there. We just left Atlantic Heights, which is over there. And we need to get around that point and then go on our way to then we're on our way to Delaware, Delaware. Delaware Bay and then work our way I think up the bay and then into Chesapeake Bay and then down Chesapeake Bay that's a shorter plan for now so let's see how that works but New York was good we New had a good time Beautiful. Never knew I would say a city is beautiful, but that was different. Those billboards, wow. Times Square, that yeah, was yes. quite good. It's a lovely day for sailing. There is enough wind, but not <laughs> a very good sea state. So there's a couple of hurricanes, there's actually two hurricanes over there, far from us, don't worry, so we are good, but their waves are still hitting us. So our wind is coming from that direction, but you can see these big waves is coming this way, and it's causing the main not to be happy. Ooh. If you look here, you can see the two hurricanes. Uh, so there is New York. So this is good sailing winds over here. But here's Hurricane O. So we think those going waves is still hitting us because these ones are huge. So this is supposed to kill it, but maybe they didn't kill it so much. Maybe they did. And only what we see now, what's happening here, you can see there's still waves coming from there, although the wind is actually coming from there. Oh, we caught a fish! We haven't had a fish for a long, long time. Was that a tuna? We just had to drop the main start engine. These swells are just horrendously funny and also in the wrong direction as you can see we just go crazy from one side to the other side and yeah it is <laughs> we are moving and these swells are quite big uh, they're not really expect but this is the atlantic so they should be big but we the wind is just not enough, and if the wind is not enough, the sails are not tapping. Even at Genoa, you can see, it's coming actually completely folded in. The wind basically died down to about 6 knots, but on that side, the sun is setting, and on this side, the moon is coming up. That's right, the moon is now um, setting and on this side the sun is coming up. What a sunrise it's going to be. And I'm glued here. Yeah. <laughs> because we are now entering the Delaware Bay and it is just it is crazy all these things are so shallow and since we are having a serious current with us we're just trying to make it to the channel but it 
looks like a lot of people have done this before. So in front of me is another mono, a little bit bigger than us. It's about 15 meters, we are about 13 meters. So that's him over there. And it's now about 12, it was about 12 meters, yeah, 12, here we go. And we are approaching the ridge. It's, it's always nice for nerve wracking to look at, uh, at how the radar and the sonar is just picking up. So this is a side scan. So this white line is the middle and then the sonar goes down so this black part is water and then that is right below the hole where the light brown is starting and then from where it's starting to that side. So the left side is everything to that side and the right side is everything to that side so here right on top yeah I've played 12 meter far so it will go from where it is now the 11 meter and then one meter that we can see the same on this side it doesn't look like that on a charts but this bay is pretty big this is Delaware Bay so I can see on that side the shore, but I cannot see the shore where the moon is right, uh, going down, where the moon is setting, I cannot see. I see some big ships coming in. There's one, two, three big ships coming in. They're here in the middle of the bay, there's a canal, a channel, and this is Delaware, Delaware Bay. So we are here in Delaray Bay, Delaware Bay. We are on the side of, <laughs> of the canal and you can see why. These guys, they are huge. And that's a nuclear power plant making a lot of clouds. So for all those guys that think that's pollution, that's clouds. Just plain water. Another massive boat coming around this corner. And now I can see it's created wake, but that big tanker created absolute zero wake. And for this big massive boat, this guy is also not going to create a big wake, but I think it's going to shake us a little bit. Very efficient to make so little drag as possible. I should make this very power boaters like that because power boaters or even jet skis. Why can jet skis not have this small weights? Just now entering the Cape, the, the Delaware and the Chesapeake Bay. Canal over here, but there's all this logs and wood stuff floating in the water. This was not really planned. We were planning that we were anchor in the beginning of Delaware Bay to wait for the right current. And when we arrived this morning, it was good, so we just came up. And then we were going to anchor just around the corner here. Well, it turned out this canal was the right current for the moment, so we are just continuing. Uh, we will see up there at Chesapeake City, whether we can stay there maybe. So it just feels like we are now going already almost for 48 hours non-stop. And we need to find a place maybe, just maybe to find a beer. And yeah, a couple of racers. Not that it was planned, but if you plan it correctly, then you can get the current going into Delaware Bay, up Delaware Bay, and then also catch this current going to Chesapeake. And I'm, I did it by accident, but those guys, there's a couple of guys here that is, I think they've planned it. 
not like me. So this is a channel between Delaware Bay and Chesapeake Bay. A lot of debris in the water, but it is a pretty channel. And then you get this. <laughs> and there are like going to rock us. Just, just check this out. That was a gentle rock, not too bad. But we've got here like super speed boats, I think it's like Formula One boats or whatever, passing us at humongously big speeds. So we've got one engine at optimum revs, and that engine normally does five knots in still waters, and we're doing 6.6, so it's 1.6 knots current in our favor. So keep that in mind, because that can be against you. And you don't want that. So while I'm looking at all the logs and things like that, Pietro is busy with video. Ooh. I decided to update. <laughs> what was this, Da Vinci? Da Vinci, yeah. So we decided to move to the Vinci completely and see how that works out. Oh, so you got an update? Yeah, this is the first update it took forever. Yeah, so we get free updates as well. Looks like it. That's amazing. But it is a big learning curve. So we both are trying to get to know what the Vinci is doing and now we need to do transitions oh that looked like a big bridge okay that one is in open position so that is good wow <laughs> i just thought we need to start because i didn't see anything on a chart so it's one of the chesapeake city if you go from delaware to chesapeake this is Okay, so this one is in open position, that's good. So that's a railway bridge. <laughs> this is just so gorgeous. And that ultimately, this is the canal between Delaware and Chesapeake. And our dear friend Chris Stein recommended we stop here at Chesapeake City apparently very very cute so we'll find out just now Chesapeake City and we tied up Sisu right in front of the restaurant. <laughs> How cool is that? So we are going to find the beer in the canal. Just have to love the forward cockpit. So Pietro and I we're going to sit here and having a wine and listen to the music.
forward cockpit next to the spot that we stayed for the night and just check these things coming down here a huge container barge yeah. Less wakes than a jet ski. And it feels like we're back in Suriname. Check it, check all these wood that's coming down here. And there's millions of these things coming down. These guys they can create a huge wake. 